Hi students, this is A. Mandri Kumar Rajesh. In this video, we are going to discuss a topic called insect resistant plants, especially Bt crops. Bt crops are insect resistant transgenic plants, especially they are created to kill insects like beetle, ballworms, grasshoppers and aphids. So, they are mainly created to kill beetles, ballworms, grasshoppers and aphids. So, Bt cotton and Bt brinjal are transgenic plants. They are genetically modified plants with the help of transgene. The transgene get introduced into the plant genome and integrated with the plant genome in order to produce a toxic protein or a microbial protein. When it is ingested by any insect, the toxic protein can bind with gut lining. Especially the gut lining is made up of epithelial membrane. So the toxic protein can dissolve that epithelial membrane results in the death of that particular insects. So this is how this plants that it Bt crops are created to kill insects like beetle, ballworms, grasshoppers and aphids. Then why we have to create this insect resistant plants? What is the need to create this insect resistant plants? The reason is about 15 percentage of well crop yields are lost due to insect and pest. About 15 percentage of well crop yields are lost due to pest and insects. The damage to crops are mainly caused by insects larvae and the adult insects. The damages are mainly caused by larvae and adult insects. The insects which cause damage to the crop plants are mainly belongs to the following orders. They are Lepidoptera, then Coleoptera, then Arthoptera. The fourth one is Homoptera. Example for Lepidoptera is ballworms. Example for Coleoptera is beetles. Example for Arthoptera is grasshoppers. Example for Homoptera is aphids. So the insects which cause damages to the plants or crops mainly belongs to this following orders. Lepidoptera, Coleoptera, Arthoptera and Homoptera. Then I am going to tell about the Bacillus thuringiensis, the bacteria Bacillus thuringiensis. Let me tell you the Bacillus thuringiensis. Bacillus thuringiensis was first discovered by the scientist Sihivahi in the year 1901. So it was discovered by the scientist Sihivahi in the year 1901. Actually, Bacillus thuringiensis is a gram-negative soil bacteria. So, it is a gram-negative soil bacteria which can produce a toxic material called parasporal crystalline Proteinous toxic or toxin with insecticidal property. So, the Bacillus thuringiensis bacteria can produce a toxic material called parasporal crystalline proteinous toxin with insecticidal property. So, this toxic material is referred as insecticidal crystalline 
protein. Insecticidal crystalline protein. Simply we can abbreviate as ICPS. So it contains insecticidal property. That is why we are referred that protein or the toxic material as insecticidal crystalline protein. Actually, this insecticidal sorry insecticidal crystalline protein or among the endotoxins produced by the sporulating bacteria and they are originally classified as delta endotoxins delta endotoxins so this icps in insecticidal crystalline proteins are originally classified as delta endotoxins then the strains of bacillus thuringiensis can produce 200 different types of bt toxins how many 200 types of bt toxins which can kill the insects like the larvae of moth butterflies then god flies then some of the ball worms then some of the bt toxins or tri proteins are specific to the orders like lepidoptera then coleoptera then homeoptera and the orthoptera so the bacillus thuringiensis can produce 200 different types of Bt toxins or tri proteins and this 200 Bt toxins are belong to belongs to 40 type of families 40 types of families they belongs to 40 types of families Bt toxin families it start with cry 1 to cry 40. So, this 200 toxins are belongs to 40 types of Bt toxin families. Then, I am going to tell you the mode of action of this Bt toxin in the insects. Let me explain the action of Bt toxin in insect with the help of a flow chart. The first step Parasporal crystals is ingested by the target insect. So, this is the ingestion of spore. This is a spore which contains parasporal crystals and it is ingested by the insect and it enters into the gut of the insects. The conversion of the protoxin into active toxin. Actually, this parasporal crystals are in inactive form in inactive form so they have to activate with the help of alkaline ph and the specific protease the conversion of protoxin it contains the molecular weight 130 kilodalton into active toxin it contains the molecular weight 68 kilodalton requires the combination of alkaline pH ranges about 7.5 to 8 and the action of a specific protease which is an enzyme which is present in the gut of insect. So this protoxin has to become active toxin. It is in inactive form. Active toxins are in active form. So it has to convert it into active toxin with the help of alkaline pH and specific protease. Active toxin proteins get itself inserted into the membrane of the gut epithelial cells of the insects. So here the ingestion of spore takes place and it enters into the gut of insects. This solution of protein crystal takes place with the help of this alkaline pH and protease enzyme. Then it becomes active protein the inactive inactive protein become active protein then that active protein can binding to specific receptors especially peritrophic membrane especially peritrophic membrane this peritrophic membranes are produced by epithelial cells the function of peritrophic membrane is to protect epithelial membrane from microorganism and food aberration so, this active protein binds on this peritrophic membrane, results in the vacuolation of cytoplasm takes place. That means cell disruption takes place, results in the death of that insect, results in the death of insect. 
So results in the formation of ion channels through which an excessive loss of cellular ATPs occur. So through due to the active protein, the toxic protein, cellular ATPs are lost in excessive manner. So cellular ATPs are very very important for metabolism. Cellular metabolism results in cellular metabolism stop. After that, the organisms are not able to survive. So results in the cellular metabolism stops. This is how the Bt toxin can kill an insect. Then some workers in the recent years suggested that the epithelial membrane of gut block some vital nutrient, nutrients thereby the regulation of potassium ions are lost due to that results in death of the insects. You have may arise by a question. Sir, if we consume Pt Prinjol, it contains the toxic protein parasporal crystals. Suppose if we consume this Pt Prinjol, it will affect our stomach or gut and it leads to death. It is not like that. Because this para crystal requires two conditions they are combination of alkaline pH and specific protease. Actually, the human and animal digestive system is in acidic nature. They are in acidic nature, not in alkaline nature. It, that is why these parasporal crystals are not able to become active protein. Not able to become active protein because human and animal digestive systems are acidic in nature. So it won't affect human being and animals. Then I am going to tell you another herbicide tolerant plant called Dara Mustard Hybrid. Let me explain the another herbicide tolerant plant called Dara Mustard Hybrid 11. It is abbreviated as DMH 11. Developed by a team of scientists at the Center for Genetic Manipulation of Crop Plants, Delhi University. It is a herbicide tolerant mustard variety. DMH11 contains three genes namely Pargin, Barnes, and Barstar. Already we have discussed two herbicide tolerant plants namely glyphosate. The plants can resist or tolerate against glyphosate and Basta or glufosinate or glufosinate. So in the condition of glufosinate tolerant plant, we are using PAR gene or PPT gene or PET gene. Here also we are using PAR gene. In addition, we are using PARNES and R star. This PAR gene made resistant to herbicide named BASTA. Named BASTA. So these three genes are source of soil bacterium. These three genes are obtained from soil bacterium and we are using soil bacterium to transfer the three genes into the host plant. With the help of the soil bacterium, we are introducing these three genes into the host cell and it integrated with the plant genome and they can resist against herbicide named BASTA. So that's all about the herbicide tolerant plant called GMH11. Then I am going to tell you the advantages and disadvantages of the insect resistant plants. Let us talk about the advantages and disadvantages of Bt crops. First, I am going to tell you the advantages. The yield of cotton is increased due to the effective control of bulbworms. This is the first point. Second point, reduction in insecticide use in the cultivation of Bt cotton. After the introduction of the transgenic plants in the agricultural field, there is no need to use the insecticide because it contains the Bt toxin proteins so it can kill the insects. The third point potential reduction in the cost of cultivation. Then Bt genes could be expressed in all parts of the plants including roots and internal regions of stems and fruits. So Bt genes can be expressed in all parts of the plant that is the main important advantage of Bt genes. Then toxic proteins are produced within the plants, hence they are environmentally 
sorry environmental friendly they are eco friendly so the toxic proteins are able to produce only inside the plants not in, not in the environment that is why they are eco friendly so these are the advantages of bt crops then i am going to tell about the disadvantage here i have written some of the disadvantages of bt crops cost of bt seed is high it is not cheaper the effectiveness of seed only up to 120 days after that efficiency is reduced it get reduced efficiency of the seed get reduced in effective against sucking pests like jasids aphids and white fly so the bt crops are not effective against jasids and some aphids and white fly the fourth point affects pollinating insects and thus is also so pollinators are very very important without pollinators pollination not takes place without pollination we are not able to get the food items food crops so this is the major disadvantages of bt crops affects pollinating insects results in the reduction of yield so that's all about today's video if you have any doubt please clarify with me thank you very much for watching this video thank you